Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming and data visualization using R. In our previous part of this video, we have seen how to add compact letters of comparison above the bars of this ggplot2. And this, these letters are according to the analysis of variance test or AOV, one-way ANOVA. In this session, we will learn how to go for two-way ANOVA, how to get CLD for that two-way two -way ANOVA result and how to plot those results with compact letter display. We will uh, first load all those packages which re are required for us, library. The first package we will require is Palmer Penguins because we are going to the use data from this Palmer Penguins package. I will run that. Spelling mistake is there. P-A-L Palmer Penguins control run. Next is library EM means is required to calculate the means at AC and this EM means object will be the input of the CLD function and that CLD function is coming from the package uh, multcomp. If you have not installed all these packages then just go to tools click install and type in first few alphabets of the package name this palmer penguin is there select that put comma to go for the next one again type few letters that em means select this em means then again go to third one comma and multcom multcom select and click install all these three packages will get installed now when all these three packages are then in your memory run these library commands again and these packages are there in the memory and we can use their functions the head of palmer penguins and please see watch my video the link is given in the description also to know about how to apply one way ANOVA to the data and this penguins data set from palmer penguins we are going to use here it contains many categorical variables species island and sex categorical variable and numeric variables we'll first apply the ANOVA model 2 because in previous video model was named as model 1 AOV and this time we will apply two independent variable to the model dependent variable is flipper underscore length underscore mm tilde symbol and this depends on uh, species and island and this data is coming from penguins the model specification is complete we will see summary of this ANOVA object summary of mod 2 and we can see here that island is not significant but species is significant having significant effect on the or on the flipper length we'll apply 2k hsd to this mod object to see pairwise differences we can see here that in the species chinstrap adeli difference is significant but when we go for island there is no significant difference between the uh, flipper length of penguins from different islands island is not a significant variable to have effect on the flipper length to this now we will calculate the cld's or em means first we will calculate the means of these uh, different pairs flipper length of different pairs and for that we will have em means function and the object em mean em means function we are going to use em means the first argument is the model model 2 and this time specification specs in our previous video we have used just one categorical variable but here we are going to use two categorical variable because this is two-way ANOVA and the specs will be uh, species and island I'll copy this to avoid typing put inverted quote here remove this comma and complete the inverted quote these two variables are there em mean will be calculated run that and we'll see how the em mean has got calculated we have got a uh, species island combination adelie biscoy em em mean is 189 chin strap biscoy this mean is there gen 2 biscoy this 217 is there and for all that combinations we have calculated the em means and uh, standard errors em mean is actually arithmetic mean only and all other information is also there now this object will provide as input to get the cld em mean underscore cld compact letter display and cld function we are going to use cld this cld function takes this em mean as the first argument 
output of a min function as input the next argument is the letters l upper case letters because we want letters we, we don't want the numbers and the argument is small scale letters that l is l will be small not small scale lower case we'll run that now we'll see what is there in this m min cld object we'll run that these letters are there a a b a b because adeli all are same from all these three islands in change trap biscoid dream and torgerson b c c and c because all these three are same gen 2 the letter is d d d because gen 2 biscoid dream torgerson these three are same but these three are different from those of change trap biscoid or change trap and those three combinations and adeli and uh, these three island combinations now this cld letters we want to display above the bars and we'll go for the now this is little tricky than the previous video library ggplot will call for and if you have not installed ggplot ggplot2 please install that using the install function run that ggplot is the first function to get the plot now the first data is em means cld em means cld aesthetic mapping is this spaces and em mean we are going to use spaces x axis and em mean as the y axis comma island variable will add to fill attribute to fill island comma geom call will get a stacked bar plot and when we run that stacked bar plot is there we want these bars to be separated from each other therefore we'll use the argument position is equal to inverted code dod ge and run that this stacked bar plots are there for adeli for change trap for gen2 okay and we can see that there is no difference in the flipper length uh, that species sorry uh, species species is there the flipper length shall be the x y axis flipper length underscore mm and we'll run that this is a wrong bar bar plot and it is saying that flipper length mm not found okay that that's not there in this object this object contain em mean and we'll run that now the bars are there little differences are there uh, between those bars to this we'll add geom error bar geom error bar aesthetic mapping for this y mean lower bound of this is equal to em mean minus ac and uh, this ac from the em mean this uh, cld object uh, then y max is equal to em mean plus ac the width also will specify in the same because otherwise bars will that error bars will be just similar to the width of the bars we want that width to be 0.1 of the bar and we'll run that and we can see that those bars are there but all the bars are overlapping we have to use the position argument for that i will bring that on new line position and this time that position will be position dodge and this position dodge will have the length width is equal to 0.9 because this is the resolution of the bars in the geom call default resolution in the geom call and you have to use the same width as you use in the geom call in the error bars also to get those error bars perfectly mapped to their respective bars now these error bars are there the 0.1 is very small one we'll make that 0.2 size also will make size is equal to 0.7 and comma run that now these error bars are visible properly visible we'll add the cld on this and for that we'll have to specify the label argument in the aes main aes of ggplot label is equal to dot group because dot group variable is there in this em min cld uh, data frame at the end we have to add the geom text and this geom text will have we just is equal to 0.7 this time we'll keep minus 0.7 to take the letters above the bars the letter shall not overlap the bars and these letters are also 
on the same spot we have to use position dodge again we'll use the same argument from the geom error bar and we'll paste that after the comma in the geom text and we'll run that all that compact letter display is there we can customize that further here i will just customize that to specify the theme theme classic and that's how we can get compact letter display to show differences amongst the groups or combinations in two way anova that's all for this session thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet thanks again for watching